All right, guys, thank you very much um, for tuning in today. I've always wanted to bring Gift in here, but you know, she, she's very busy. She has a big team, so we've not always found the perfect time. I think the last um, meeting we had, just plus um, um, organized and she spoke, you know, after the meeting immediately I called, I said, you know what, Gift, you've got to come to the team. You need to come and speak to the team. I don't really care. Just give me a time. Anytime you're available, I'm going to put it out there. People would make time to come in. I said, okay, I'll make it today. And that's how we booked it in. So just to give you a little bit, I mean, she's going to introduce herself and it's just going to be a question and answer session. It's not going to be a long um, speech. It's question and answer because that's exactly what you know I want this to be I've known gifts for I think about four years now we, we I think we started this business together I think maybe she joined before myself maybe a couple of months before myself and yeah it's been a journey I took a break I came back and you know I saw on PMD I'm like what what's going on you know and you know she's really really worked hard she's hard working, she's patient, she's been consistent all the way. So it's very important that we hear stories, you know, from people like this. They will tell us the challenges they face, they'll tell us the mistakes they've made, they'll tell us that their struggles and how eventually they're able to get to where they are today. So I've got I've got lots of questions myself and um, if you have any questions, just pop it in the chat box or just raise your hand and I will. Um, and I'll call you to, um, so let me just spotlight. Um, Gift now. Okay. Hello, Mama. Hi, everyone. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for finally coming. Thank you very, very much. I think we'll just go straight to the point because we have just one hour um, to spend. So quickly, just um, introduce yourself, um, who you are, what you do, what you were doing before Just Plus. And yeah, five minutes, just a little, just pack everything, you know, in five minutes for us. <laughs> okay. My name is Gift. Um, I am a mom, I'm a minister, and I'm also an entrepreneur. And um, before I found this opportunity, I was a um, working night support worker, working with people with special needs and um, um, learning disability. And then I found this business and here I am today. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. So I think we'll just go straight um, down. So how many years have you been in this business? Um, April this year will make it five years. Wow. And how has it been for you? Well, it's been like any other thing, roller up and down, but we thank God we get here at the end. Absolutely. So can you just run through your journey, this five years journey? Can you just run through what, um, at what stage, you know, you were, what you encountered and how you were able to, you know, move to PMD plus, I'm uh, sorry, PMD now actually. Wow. <laughs> um, basically, I joined 2016. Um, I didn't know much about network marketing because I failed in various businesses. I tried to do Adiz, uh, which is body magic. I tried to do Avon. I tried to do Mary Kay. I tried before to do cargo in stuff to Africa. I tried to do um, um, utility warehouse. <laughs> and I failed in all of them because all of them desire your presence, like you to take away, either to go and meet up people, sign them up. I even tried insurance at a point to meet people physically and sign them up. And um, I failed. So when I found this opportunity, I love one thing about it because um, I don't need to go to anybody. I can do it in my comfort zone because I'm an introvert. I love to stay in my own comfort zone, like in my house. I don't go out at all. Sometimes people were like, do you live in this area? Yes, I do, but they don't see me. I only come out for two purposes, work, church. I mean, three purposes, work, church, or shopping. Half of the time I do my grocery shopping online. So, people <laughs> <laughs> so um, now when I found this opportunity, it suits my personality. It suits who I am. It suits what I represent, which is just, I love spending time, you know, in, in so it suits me very well. So. I, I fell in love with it. And starting the business, um, I was on benefits when I started. Um, I was in support benefits, even though I was working full time, my income was not enough to pay my bills. So I had to, um, what's the word? Um, work, I work over time still, you know, it wasn't enough being a lone parent and um, paying childcare and all from that, or payers and all. So finding this business, it was like a breath of fresh air. And, um, I started with the mindset of just getting an extra hundred pounds to pay the council tax bill because for some reason I was entitled for housing benefit, but I wasn't I wasn't entitled for housing for council tax. 
So I uh, needed that extra hundred pounds because that is one bill that comes in as red every time. And I get it, it just makes my heart keep every time. I see it. <laughs> so um finding it my first month it was good. My second month, oh my god, it was amazing, you know, getting extra 400 or something pounds. Heavy, you know, I got you know the bonus for SP. And everything then my third month i was sc and it was amazing then my upline wanted to quit and we, we became so close and you know when you have an upline you you look up to them and she wanted to quit and she was trying to talk me out of it because she was going on benefits and she says oh i'm going on benefits you need to quit because if they find you blah 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 i'm like I'm on benefit. Benefit is 200 and something. But based on where she lives, benefit is about, our home benefit is higher because she lives in the in the London area. My, I don't live that area. So my, it's low. So I'm like, no, you don't quit for that. She was making a thousand a month, but she says she cannot risk her 800 pounds house in benefit for just plus 1,000 pounds, which the 800 pounds is guaranteed, just plus 1,000 pounds isn't guaranteed. So I said, well, I'm not following you to do that. To you. <laughs> I'm not quitting for 800 pounds when I know that I can get, you know, then it was 76, I mean, 78,000 pounds. Yeah. I'm, my heart is on that. Not, not, what's, for me, my benefit is not then. I don't mind quitting benefit if, if it has to come to that. And at that time, my income was, I was already getting like six, 700 pounds a month. So I'm like, I'm not giving that up for 200 or something pounds. No way. So, when she couldn't talk me out of it, she stopped. I pushed her, pushed her, pushed her. There's only so much you can push a person mm -hmm. if they don't want to be pushed. Mm -hmm. So I left it. And um, she went on holiday, came back, and she wasn't interested anymore. Mm -hmm. She just like, I'm not, in, I don't know what happened, but my mind, you know, one thing with our business, there's a momentum. Mm -hmm. When the momentum is there, chase it. When you lose it, you lose it. It's difficult to get back into the momentum. Absolutely. <laughs> I would, I'll just cut you down there. I would say that is true. Because when the momentum is there, just keep going. Mm -hmm. If it's not there, there is nothing anybody can tell you. Mm -hmm. You look for all the excuses in the world and no people are doing just plus. People will not buy the product. It's too, you will talk yourself and nobody can talk you out of it. Definitely. Only yourself. You would only be the person that will talk yourself out of it and say, mm -hmm. you know, this business, I, I've been in that position before. I've been in that space before. So I know exactly what you're talking about. So yeah, just go ahead. It's not possible to stay, to pin me and you to pin yourself so we two can be by side by side. I don't okay. like looking at myself. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Let me see, how can I do that? Okay, half side view, okay. Um, pin, I think you pin yourself, add pin or something like that. Or oh, add okay. like. I can't even find myself anymore now. <laughs> <laughs> if you make me co-host, I can, I can do that. I don't know. Okay, let me make you co-host. It's kind of weird looking at yourself talking. No, okay, yes. I've made you co-host. So you Art spotlight. Okay, that's okay. better. Okay. Okay, so nice, no, better. It's good to see your face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, yeah, so that was the journey. So I continued and um 28 um 17, I got SSC, then I was talk to 2018. You know, there was enough reason for me to quit being in SSC for one year, wow. you know, but I just keep the momentum going. I didn't have any mentor. And the time we joined Just Plus, um, a lot of leaders were not there yet. Yes. You know, in the African community, we don't know what we are doing half of the time. We, <laughs> if you want to get promotion, you call everybody, we call everybody. What do you need? How do you do this? How do you do that? So we tend to just learn as we go, you know, and get into Q, Q, SSC was tough trying to get built because you know you need to build structure because to jump from SC to SSC was a big jump because from yeah. point to pay line of 10,000 was a big jump. But I was working, but I was consistent. So what I did, I built a structure for myself being a parent. So I'm going to say this for anyone here. If you are working, you know your time of work. If you have a break, you do something in your business, doing your break time or, if, you know, I work night. So I was very much an advantage point because um, in the night, once my clients are settled, I will just be posting, I will just be writing up what I would do the next day, you know, programming myself, knowing that I'm going to post this, what I'm going to post in the morning, afternoon, evening. I have those already saved by scanting on people's, other people's page to get inspirations. 
then I will come to my team. I write down motivational team, what I'm going to motivate them with in the morning, you know, or inspirational videos, short ones. I'll look, download it and find a way to send it to them. Then when I come home in the morning, before I sleep, I do a live video. I make up at work before I get home. People are like, you just need your night shift. Where are you going to? They don't know what I'm doing. I'm just like, it doesn't matter. I'm going home. I like to look nice so that the world doesn't know I'm coming from a shift. When I come home, I dress up and just do the live video. And after live, wash everything up, have my shower, go to bed, wake up, get the kids lunch ready, get, you know, the kids are already ready, like get them from back from school, whichever way. And then I do something about my business, you know, quickly. Then I do their homework with them. After homework, make sure we have dinner. Then at the end of the day, I quickly jump on a Zoom with my team. You know, I don't do Zoom every day. Then I used to do Zoom with them three times a week. I was SC, remember, when I started doing that, building my team myself. So um, I'll do Zoom with them, with the few that can come into Zoom. It doesn't matter even if you have five people coming into Zoom, do a Zoom once you get to SC. Because then you are building a relationship with your downlines and anyone that comes in. Because some people are good at recruiting, but they can't mentor who they brought in. So if you do a Zoom with them, you're able to take them along. Okay. So now... After that, I get the kids ready, drop them at the minders, and I go to work again. The, the next day, continue like that. Then my day off, I solemnly rest, I do my business, and I do mother's duty. So that was my life. Now, I got to QNMD 2018. It was a magic. It was just magical because then one of my downlines recruited a strong leg. So sometimes it's not your direct recruit that will help you. It might be the people they brought in. And she was SC, but the person she brought in within five months was SSC. I don't know how she did it, but she just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, and she was SSC. So just my pay line just went like that. And I became QNMD. And in that QNMD place, I was able to um, buy myself a car. I was able to um, wipe up all I remember, the car. I remember your car. I remember your first car. Yeah, I remember people posted it on Facebook. <laughs> I was able to wow, do as well. Yeah. So, um, and then I wanted to renew my papers. One of the things that inspired me to join was my home office document to renew for independent. They told me I would need about 10,000 pounds with the lawyer fee, health fee, blah, blah, blah fee. But when the time came, this business helped me to raise that money in 2017. It was time for me to renew 2018. Yes, yeah, 17, 18. So, 817, so it's time for me to renew the papers. I was not told, I don't need to do that for my kids because they were born here, you know? So I was like, oh, so what am I going to do with this money? So I now use the money to buy the car. So anyway, to call the long story short, 2018, I became QNMD. Being QNMD, um, 2019, I bought this house. That's how I'm living, as a QNMD. Because I had a side hustle, remember, I was still working. Mm -hmm. So my work was, and the income, sorry. The income from my business was supplementing my bills. Sorry, I just need to. I just need to silence that. Sorry about it. Yeah. So the income from my bill, my in, my job was helping me with the bills, and the money from my business was helping me with um, savings and also to give us the comfort. Because before I found this business, I was broke. Mm, you know what I mean? I was broke. That's why the government had to come in. I was on. I was in support benefits. I was in, what do you call it? Child tax credit, child benefits. Still, I was broke because the bills, if you look at in the UK, your monthly house goings, it's more than two grand. Mm -hmm. And my income was like a thousand two or a thousand so. When I pay all the bills, it's not if my bills is more than a thousand two. You know what I mean? So <laughs> the all money goes into the bills. So there was nothing left to say you want to even buy McDonald's. You want to buy, you know, what do you call it? Brand new clothes. Everything must be second hand. You know, so that was how we were living. But now this business now helped me to be able to go to the market and buy new clothes if I want to. And that was how it went on until 2020, which another turnaround came again. But I was patient. There was trauma. There was, you know, hardship, but I didn't leave. I didn't quit. Even your team members can quit on you. People you brought in might quit on you. But the worst thing you would do to yourself is to quit on you. Because the world wants to see you fail. People who have quitted, um, they want to see you fail. But do you want to fail? Do you want to give them this, the comfort, the, this, the, what do you call it? The, the, the happiness that they derive, the joy of saying, you say, I told you, I told you, it's not for you. I told you, it's not going to work. I told you, you don't want that. You know, when I was doing this business, I lost friends. 
when I go to maybe burdens and I'm talking to maybe their friends, they will tell their friends, don't listen to her before she tell you about juice plus. They will first of all tell the friend ahead. <laughs> don't let her talk you to juice plus, into juice plus. This one can convince a dead man to enter juice plus. And the people will just get up and leave as if I'm a leopard. <laughs> and it irritates me. But you know what? I said to them, I said, one day you will celebrate me. I will say it as a joke. But do you know what? When I, I think it was last, not in December, I was having a um, get together with my friends at home. And one of them said, Gift, can I be your cleaner? And I looked at her. This is one of them that was mocking me. And I said, you can't be my cleaner, darling. You are my friend. Let me teach you what I do. She said, no, I can't do what you do. But you rather be my cleaner? Why? So this is this, you, you discover that they have, everybody have different mindsets. Some people have the mindset to be great. Some people have the mindset to just receive. Somebody must employ them. Somebody must pay them. Somebody, they must be answerable to someone. I call it the slave mentality. We must be under somebody. We cannot be independent. So I have to try and talk her out of it and say, girl, okay, if you don't want to do my business, what do you like to do? She said, I can do, I love to clean. I said, then set up your own cleaning company. She said, how? I sat down there within 10 minutes. I told her, do this, do this, do this, do that. Technology has made it easier. Advertise yourself on all these um, groups around your locality that you're a cleaner, you have a car, put all the cleaning stuff in your car. Yeah, you go. People will call you as your business go, you get registered. And she was like, is it that easy? I said, very easy. Because that is what you love to do. So I'm going to say this to anyone here. People might quit me. Friends might desert you. Family, when I started, I removed all my family members, all my church members. Everyone that has something to say or that I know that their way will hurt me. You know, there are some people that you don't know. If they say anything to you, it won't hurt you. But some people that you have a relationship with, that their words will hurt you, yeah. I block them. Mm. Same thing I did for some people. <laughs> I block them. And it was when I became, when I've grown that they began to see my face through the, you know, that just lost rep. They're like, Gift, what is that? And I saw somebody share your picture. What is that you are doing? I'm like, now I can talk because I'm comfortable. I'm confident in what I do. I know that there is success in what I do. So I can now tell them. But at the beginning, my confidence level was low. So I couldn't remove them. I could, I mean, I couldn't explain to them. So I removed them instead. And those that could confront me, still came to confront me. You call yourself a woman of God. How can you be on social media doing what you do? And if I don't know you, I would have called you a fake woman of God, but I've seen you prophesy to me and every one of them come to pass. I've seen you ministered. I've seen you in operation on the altar. So why would you do this? You are, dis you are disgracing the kingdom of God. Really? really? Honestly. One said to me, if you had needed money, you would have asked me. Mm. <laughs> and I said, ask you, do you know how much I need? I need a, I need a 10,000 pounds. He said, well, even if I can't give you, we could have prayed together and God will convince somebody to bring it to your door. You. Wow. And I said, exactly. yes, I prayed. And God said somebody to open my eyes. I believe I wasn't on social media. Finding this business was a miracle. Mm -hmm. I was off social media for two years, from 2014 to 2016. So me finding this business was me being led to go back on social media. I didn't even know why I was going back to social media for because I was running away from social media. But on finding this business, I discovered that actually life, you know, it says I have given you power to make wealth. Power to make wealth. When we are religious, we tend to feel, no, we cannot be rich because we are Christians. So we shouldn't be business minded because we are Christians. And the Bible says, if he that does not work should not eat. So I am working for myself. Is it not better than me? working for somebody else's business and they choose to pay me what they want to pay me. But they didn't understand. But now, every one of them, some of them lend money from me. Every one of them, not one left that they keep saying, you are a virtuous woman. You are a strong woman. Come and speak in our women's group. Come and speak, it. Come and speak to my women. I'm just looking at them. Did you remember? But of course, I couldn't say that today. Yeah, I know. So I want you to know, yes, there will be turbulence. The person that brought me then, last time I heard she was talking, um, she, uh, what do you call it? Stuff in Sainsbury, still stocking stuff in the shed. 
I don't know what they call the people that stock to, stuff that refill, refill, refill the, the, the shelf. Mm -hmm. That was now a job. So imagine if she didn't quit, she would have had me as a, as a PMD today. PMD. Do you know what that, that is going to be to her? Jeff Roberto said the person that brought him into the business, two months or three months quit. And today is the highest, highest in juice plus. And that person, every time he sees Jeff Roberto, I am sure he's crying. I know. Why did I quit on this? I had he had he recruited a, a billionaire, not even a millionaire, a billionaire. Because that guy pay line in a month. I don't know, I don't know how many millions I would say. But he left a billionaire on the shelf and went back to look for job. So don't quit on yourself because the next person you might quit might be your next Jeff Roberto, might be your next Gip Aki, might be your next you. So don't quit on you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much Kate, for that. So I think my question would be, like you said, um, you, there were challenges on the way. What were some of those challenges and what did you do to make sure that you overcame them? I did self-development a lot. Okay. I believe in prayer. I'm a woman of faith and I learned to listen to the Holy Spirit. So whatever I do, I let him guide me. If, he tell, if, he, if the Lord doesn't say quit, I won't quit. So if the Lord has said, get quit, I will know, okay, I have to throw in the power now. I can't do it. And because one of the things about what we present is about health and wealth. Even if I quit, one thing I keep saying to myself, even if I quit, will I not want to still live healthy? Mm -hmm. Yes. Will I still be on social media? Yes. So why am I quitting? Because I still want to live healthy, whether I live it or not. Finding this product, I have benefited tremendously health-wise. So why would I leave it and go back to my old ways where I eat anything I want? I was sleepy, nonstop, tired, anemic, you know, heavy bleeding, everything that was wrong with the woman was wrong with me. So how would I want to quit this healthy life I've embraced, whereby I am now self-conscious, my confidence has grown, I am helping people. How can I quit that to be back on the person who, the, who was told, you are no good, you are nobody, you are this and that. Whereas now I am somebody, I know who I am now. So I'm going to tell you, self-development as well. I listen to motivational um, speakers a lot. So, um, and there was nothing like quitting in my dictionary because I always set goals. So because my goal is in front of me, I can't quit until I achieve that goal. And you know one thing about dreams and goals, once you achieve it, you are looking at the next one, you are setting a higher one. So I can't quit. So challenges will be there. Like I said, my upline left, being a, a, a lone parent every time and you are on Zoom and kids are always like, mommy this, mommy that, mommy this, mommy that. You know, I remember one of the things one of the leaders say, he said, don't worry if you don't hoover your house every day. Don't worry if you don't do the laundry or the kitchen every day, cook every day. Cook one day and we can just store in your freezer and spend time building your business. When the time is right, you employ a cleaner, mm -hmm. you will get a chef, mm -hmm. you will get anything you want to. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, oh my God. So I can get anything I want to if I, if I don't, you know, some of we mothers, we're obsessed with the house must be clean. So you spend three hours, four hours a day, five hours cleaning everywhere, every day. And the moment that woman said that thing that day in the Zoom, I said to myself, give this yeah. is me. If you this are, is me. If you're a person who wants to start a YouTube channel and you want That's to be a blogger mm -hmm. or I said to myself, this is me because I used to have a neighbor who was from Philippines and this woman, she was addicted to cleaning. So anytime you see her after she dropped the kids at school, what are you going to do? I'm going to clean. So she spent from the time she dropped kids at school to the time when you, you are going back to pick the kids, she says, I've just, I said, what have you been doing all day? Oh, I've been cleaning. And all her hands are peeled. So that's image flash on my face. She said, give, do you want to be like this? No, rather, if it's going to be messy, let it be messy. You just focus on building your business and looking after your kids. Once everything is right, you can employ a cleaner. You can employ a chef. It gets to a time when I was when when I'm doing my 19 days challenge. I have a caterer bring food for me, deliver food, already made food, food stuck in my freezer. I have a cleaner that comes every two weeks or once a week to come and tidy, clean up everywhere. My kids are a bit grown now, so they can do the little little cleaning. But I've trained them to be independent, and I've also trained myself to say, you know what, gift. Sometimes you have to give what it takes, sacrifice. 
I don't sleep sometimes until 2 a.m. When I finish building my business, when I finish, I go into the closet and travel for my team. Those who are intercessors or Christians, you know what traveling means. You pray, you pray PMD out of the one that doesn't believe they are PMD. You pray the one that is about to give up, pray them back into order and they will see that the next morning they will be motivated and say, I want to do this. So you don't sleep, you're like a mother hen. Mother hen don't sleep, you protect your children. So even when the children are sleeping, you are still working. And I challenge myself every month to recruit more than my downlines. So you, if so far you have a team member under you, you are a leader. So my goal is to say, give to work out to recruit more than them, lead, from, lead by example. So every month I said, okay, this month we are setting a goal. The goal is to recruit five, five each. Let's see who will achieve it. And the achiever will, will get rewarded. I, 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 I put it out there. So I have spoken it out to the universe. I've spoken it out by faith. And I get what I want according to Ezekiel. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall accomplish that which I sent it. And once I recruit my five, I was like, I've done mine. I will go back to the team board, look at my organization. Shirt. I'm like, who has done theirs? Who has recruited five? I can see that from my back office. And then that person gets rewarded. So ladies and gent, challenges will come. But it is what you make out of it that matters. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, another question for me is: I mean, you you are PMD, you've done it all, so you'll be able to share with you know with us some of the mistakes you made that you would not want to make again. Mm. Can you remember any of the mistakes that you? Yeah, made? a lot of them. One of the mistakes, which some of you might not like if I say this, and you might um, <laughs> hate me afterwards, maybe if you, in case somebody is doing it to you right now. Do not lead by example. Do not build, build a relationship, but don't build that kind of relationship whereby everybody depends on you in the team. Does that make sense? If somebody asks me now, give me prize list. I don't go and get prize list and give to you. I will explain to you where to get the prize list. That's an example. Because before I was loading myself by doing tasks for everybody, so people do not know where to get things. So seven days a week, 365 days a week, I am still working. Even if I say I'm on holiday, if I don't look at my phone for one hour, somebody will be crying, telling me, where have you been? I've been shouting, I've lost the customer. So those were overwhelming. So now I do training whereby there is video for everything. So if you want anything, you know, somebody, when you ask, somebody will be share the video for you in the group. Another thing is, or I will tell you where to get it rather than me getting it for you. And another thing is, once you are SC, I allow you to lead. I don't lead you. I give them tasks to say, even if it is partner plus, start teaching. So that their confidence will grow. So, you know, before I didn't do those things, I tend to teach and teach. And the day when I'm not available, nobody wants to do it. If you beg them, oh, today I'm sick, I'm, I can't train, who can train? Everybody will keep quiet because they're not used to doing it. When I went back to uni, it was another hustle. To the extent my eyes were swollen, when I go to placement, they would tell me, go back home, you look sick because of acute stress. I had to tell myself, something was given. So my new strategy was raise everybody to be independent. Once you come in, there is training in place. Once we train you, you get to SC. Please pick your mantle and start training. Even if it's how to get to people, even if it's how to have friends you can teach, even if it's how to, um, what's the word? How to get to SP, how to get your PB you can teach. Teach, because the more you teach, the more you get better. So I teach people how to be independent. Now, and number two, again, before I used to help, maybe somebody wants to go for promotion, they call me, oh, can you give me order? Can you help me? Or oh, help me, give me downlines. I did, thinking I'm helping them, pushing them. But I realized that I wasn't growing because wherever I push them to stop, that is where they stop. When I can't give them order or give them to me, they don't grow. So it didn't, like I'm doing, building my whole team myself. So I wasn't going anywhere. So now, rather than me doing that, if a child is like a child coming to the parent to say, oh, I hurt my feet. What do you do? You say, you can do it. Get up, get up. No, your feet will be fine. You massage the feet and say, go on, go on, put the feet on the floor. So that is what I do now. If they come to me now, I said, 
Hi, don't worry. You can get the pick. Is it? Is it not SC you want to go for? You only have five hundred left. You can do it. Go back there. Go out and hustle. Go like I give them strategies to go and do what to say, what not to say. If they want a three way call, I will do the three way call. I will help them. But I am not giving you customer or team anymore because if you build your business on giving out customers and team members, you will be the only one working. Your that person will be last and rely on you to keep doing it. And trust me. That, the, that person doing it is not going anywhere anytime soon. So those are my mistakes and I've learned from it. It works for some people, but it never worked for me. And one or two of my downlines that keep doing it, they've confessed that gifts, you were right. I've done it in the past and I've learned my mistake. And at the end of the day, you lose those teamies. Those people you've pushed to get to that point, but they can't grow, they give up and they leave. But if they know how to also from beginning, they will never leave. True. I think that, that, that's important. You can't not just push people who don't want to be pushed, you know, except you know that people who are genuinely ready to work mm -hmm. need some help at some point. Yeah, but for somebody who's not ready to do anything. Okay, so how can you help your team see the vision of the business? You know, when you come nearly into the business like that, you don't really see the vision like, oh, I can be making 10,000, 20,000 pounds a month and all that. How do you help them see that vision so that they remain, you know, they remain focused, they remain high performing. Um, bringing me, doing opportunity call helps. It's not just the new team member that it helps, it helps the existing one. Because when they hear diverse stories from diverse people, it tends to make them believe that this is attainable, this is possible. So I tend to do opportunity call every Sunday and that helps my downlines to know that, you know, to get inspired. Not from me, because half of the time they've heard my story several times. So they, you know, one thing is they say King is not not in his own castle. So, but when they come, or even if it's not you doing opportunity for, but you, you send them, you know, link to go to opportunity for to listing, you know, they get inspired. So I do that a lot, a lot with my team. And also I share my stories all the time so that the new ones coming will know who I am, where I'm coming from and where I am today. So that they can, they will see because one of the stories that inspired me when I joined, two stories actually was John Holloway team. When he said to, to one of the Zoom opportunities, Zoom then he said, when he joined the business, one year he didn't sell anything, but he was consistent in posting and doing what they asked him to do, but he wasn't, his mind wasn't in it. So he didn't sell or recruit until he recruited somebody that just flew. And he was like, oh. So that was when his mind came in. Before you know it, it as at that 2016, it was one of the highest in at then, not now, then, you know, and he was saying that when it was like my pay was like 100,000 pounds, I'm like, this man doesn't have two heads. <laughs> if he has one head and he could earn 100,000 pounds in a month, girl, I think you can do it. Even if you don't get 100,000 pounds, at least, God, just give me 5,000 pounds, I'll be grateful. You know what I mean? That, that was what I was praying. I just say, just give me, even if it's 10,000 pounds, I'm fine. Anyone good, he doesn't have two heads. So if he could do it, I can do it. So, and another person again was Lena's story. Um, I watched a video of her then, which is my, of her by the beach, crying and giving a story about her son. Um, and with her son in the beach saying that how she's now living a dream, being able to go to go on holidays, whereas she was living in a bed seat, she couldn't, but this business giving her that opportunity to travel, you know, to, to be able to stop working as a teaching assistant, to be able to be a mom to her son. And I watched that video and I said, I, I could, I just saw the possibility that this is it, you know, so if it could inspire me, I believe it will inspire the new generations coming under, under us. So now we have more stories. We yeah, have so we have lots of stories <laughs> within the team, which is which is which is amazing. amazing. So you, you know, just get those people and get them to come and share their story, and the new ones to come will hear it and join, and the old ones too will get inspired and stay. Good, 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 good. Okay, one question from me before I open it up. We keep talking about recruitment, 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 recruitment. I mean, when I joined, it was through Facebook, yeah, expanding. Expand. And what is the way? How do you recruit people? Are there magic? Do you have magic to doing this? Or just, you know, just give me, you know, tips, give us tips on, you know, how, how you go about you know, recruiting people. There's no magic to recruitment. People buy your personality. 
People join you because of you, not because of the business plan, what it stands for. If you be, if you, if you are approachable, if you make, if you are genuine, and excuse me, because if you come to me now, you want to recruit me. Before I was recruited, or before I actually asked for it, because like I said, I was broke. So I asked my upline, please, can I join your business? I asked for it, not like now we're asking, telling people. So for me, if I, if I could see people, if they see what the business have done for somebody, you don't need to push too much. And telling your story is important. So most times when you want to recruit, even if you don't have a story, you can use somebody else's story. You know, you maybe for instance, I want to use your story, for instance, or somebody else's story. I'm like, you know, let me say I want to use Lena's story. I can say, oh my God, this is amazing. It has changed um, so many people's life. You know, my hotline in this business, she was a single mom. She was a teacher, assistant or teacher. She was broke. She, you know, she didn't have anything. But right now, she's a six-figure owner. She's no longer broke. She's no longer teaching. She have houses. She has in investment. She's now helping other like-minded people to do the same. So this, and it's just 50 pounds. So now I've shared the dream to that person, the possibilities. Does that make sense? So when you share the story, even if you don't have a story because you are new, use somebody else's story. You understand? Just, just look at somebody you admire in the business and use their story to recruit. You know, and another thing is, um, if you struggle, maybe they're asking questions you don't have answer, do a three-way call. I teach my team members to do a three-way call. Like the new team member, the new team, the new recruit. I said, look, because I don't want you to lose that potential, just add me to the call anytime. It doesn't matter what time in the day. I will leave whatever I'm doing, except I'm driving, right? I will, leave, I will leave whatever I'm doing. I will jump in that call and help you out. So that is very good as well. Personally, you wait for people to approach you or you also approach people as well i approach people i approach people and also these days people in those days people approach you easily but the, these days we are in people don't easily approach so you approach and few people do approach depending live videos does help when people watch your live videos and they they come behind the scene and approach you like tell me about the products but I don't, I'm not, I don't tell you about the products. I'm not telling you about the business. So if I tell you the product, you must listen for, to the business. You are not going nowhere until you listen. I'd rather talk more of the business than the product. Does that make sense? So when I talk about the product and the person is interested, I'm like, by the way, when there's like, okay, I'm interested or give me some time. Let me go and save up. I'm like, by the way, what do you do? What, what's your job? And they tell me their job. And I said, okay. You know, do you have any other thing you do apart from your job? Like, no. I'm like, okay, why don't you do this on the side and buy your own products from yourself and get paid? And like, oh, I'll go and think about it. Then you you take their contact and leave them on your potential list. You know, then you keep following up and following up and following up and following up and invite them for opportunity call, invite them for Zoom, invite them for three-way call or whichever one. And you know, when they want, when they are ready, they will just call you to say I'm ready. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, Gift. Mm -hmm. Guys, it's open to you now. If you have any question, um, if you have any question, just raise your hand and um, we can unmute yourself. Really. So there the are quite a number of new people here today. What What's the best advice for them? If you are new, I'm going to advise you to order the product, use the product. If you have confidence of what you carry and you are passionate about it, sweetie, you will sell and grow like never before. Because people, first of all, look at you. Are you confident of the product? Is this product working on you? Do you have any, any difference? Maybe it might just be your skin, your hair, your, you know, your confidence level. Most of the people buy us, not the products, because of how confident we have with what we are selling. Haven't you seen people sell fake products to people in Africa? Even though it's fake, they will sell it because of their confidence. They will talk, 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 and the person will buy. When they get home, they, they, will, they just throw it away, knowing that it's fake. But you have an authentic product that is real, that is changing life. And in this climate we are in, everybody needs help. 
everybody need to embrace a healthy lifestyle. So you have a product that we, you know, that we, what's the word? That we change life. So be confident about it. This season we are in is health and technology. Those are the two things that are, you know, that people need. Everybody need technology in their house and everybody need good health to survive, yeah? So we have the health part and we are promoting holistic health, which means the preventative measure, as encourage people to live healthy, taking supplements to help you give your body what your body needs. So be confident about that, that you are, you are, you, you are like the, how would I call it, the nutritional messiah, not, you know what I mean, not God messiah, the nutritional parts, what people need, you have it. So when you have this knowledge, go out there with that confidence. When you are talking to somebody, when somebody tell you no, don't take it at us, dust it off. Three months later, that person who said no can come back to you to say I'm ready or tell me about it. So don't get gross. If you look at um, Liz Brown, he said he will knock on, on so he, he have given himself a target to knock on hundred dollars a day. Out of that hundred dollars, maybe 99 will tell him no, but mm -hmm. he never take it at half. He keep knocking until he get one yes. So keep going until you get yes. And do not be angry if your family or friends reject you or, or leave the business or, or talk you out of it. One thing you would do, don't quit because somebody tell you it doesn't work. It's not working. I've tried it before. Oh, my friend tried it before. I have a lady in my team today. She, she was inquired about the product three years ago. She bought the product, I mean, and she refused to join the business. But do you know what? This year she came and joined and she said, Kate, do you know why I came to you? I said, I said because you are a, relentless, a woman with a relentless spirit. I said, what do you mean? Why do you say that you don't know me? She says, even though I told you no, all these years she was on my broadcast. Number one, she said she's not running the business, but I put her on my broadcast. Even though I have so many friends that have joined the business, but they quit, they are not doing it. You are the only one that I've known all these years that is still doing it. So many people quit, but you never quit. I said, that's like me quitting on myself. How can I quit on my health? This is my health. I enjoy it. It gives me satisfaction to see that somebody who is diabetes is no longer diabetes. Somebody who is high blood pressure is no longer high blood, having hypertension. Somebody who is um, having, um, what do you call it, um, ulcer is no longer having that. So. I am actually helping people. So why would I quit helping people? So it's not just about the money wise. And even if nobody buys, I'm still going to be here because I need the product. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I won't quit on me. So I'm going to tell you this. If you are new, you are, on the, you are in the best place and you are, you are joining a season whereby the product is needed. So study the product, study what you need, come to Zoom. It's very important. Come to your training. Attend training. Even if you are busy, put earpiece. Get yourself the earpiece and put them on. You know, I have different sites for different things. If I, there are some places I will be that I can't use this type, I will use a small one that goes into your ear. You won't even have earpiece on. I'll be listening to the Zoom. Nobody will know. You know, women, we have air. If as she is here now, you see her hair, her hair is covering her. Let me give you an example. A hair is covering our, our, our ears, right? If you have this, this kind of earpiece, this small type, nobody will see that you have earpiece on. Your hair is there, you are listening. In every Zoom, it doesn't matter who is training, there might be one question that somebody would ask that mm -hmm. might just be an answer to your own question, even though you can't ask the question why you are there. Try and attend Zoom. And even if you miss it, watch the recording. Even if you are busy cooking, when you come back, play. Let it be playing in the background while you are doing what you are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Keith. That has been very helpful. Do not quit on yourself. Do not quit on yourself. We're still going to be paying bills. We're still going to be living healthy. You're still going to be having fruits and vegetables. So I think a lot of the time what happens is when we come into the business, we are stuck in a position you're thinking, oh, I've been in SC for six months, eight months, I'm tired of this business, it's not moving anymore, blah, blah, blah. And then the stress is too much and then we go. 
So I think a lot of people feel that way. I felt that way at some point myself. But I think at the moment, now you just need to understand that it's a journey. For some people, it takes, you know, less years. For some people, it takes, you know, more. But you have to be there working. Like you said in one of your Zoom, that when you were in QNMD with your stock, all you were doing is just building a team. So for anybody who feels stuck or who isn't getting the promotion that they want, what are they supposed to be doing? How are they, what should I be? How should they strategize? And how you know can they build a strong team? The easiest thing, yeah. This the secret. If I've known this years ago, is very simple. You see this thing called PB. PB. Just focus on helping everyone to get to the second position and third position. Simple as A, B, C. Anyone you recruit, work with them to get to SP and then eating their PB and going to SC. If the person is determined to go to SC, yeah, work with them. Work with the workers. Don't let the negative ones drag you down. So I just focus on structure, building, helping those who are willing to work to go to the next position and building PBs, PBs. At a point, I have to say to myself, every month I must raise an SP. So if you can be giving yourself every month, look for what, what is working, who have sold. I don't care if you're in 10th generation. Mm -hmm. I don't care, but if I go to my virtual office, click on um, um, team data, and I saw a uh, 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 report, let me just say customer. Neology. No, not customer generally. Go to your virtual office, customer alert. You will see all the your downlines customers. And I see that maybe Rosemary have sold five. And I'll click on it. Where's Rosemary Hopline? Maybe Rosemary Hopline is G Day, who is not in Zoom, who is never there, who is never. You know, I'm like, okay, I will contact G Day. Rosemary have sold five. Are you going to work with her? GD, our baby GD didn't answer his call. I will call Rosemary. Rosemary, how are you? My name is Gift Aki. I saw that you've, you've sold five. Do you know you can, what's your team promo saying? They tell me. I'm like, okay. I can even check from my side, see their team promo by changing it to USA. Once I change it to USA, click on um, close to, I say, it's in close to reports or something like that. I will see the total points of that person with their ID number. And I will tell them, you are on 2,000, you are 1,000 something. Girl, let's do this, let's do this. Contact me, let's do this, call me. Or the, do you know if you sell two gold order now or two checks and three capsules, you can get this promotion? Really? I didn't know, nobody told me. Now I've told you. And this is my name, this is my Zoom link. Start coming to Zoom. And when I started working with everyone under, I don't, you know, under me, that helps. And number two, in your virtual office, you can send a, a, an email to all the new people. You know, all the new people that just joined the new recruit. If you see where to say, send them email. You, I, I will send all of them email, introducing myself, giving them my name, my number. Reach me. Not everybody read their emails, but those who read their email will contact me. And I'm like, I'm here to help. There is Zoom. There is this is our group. Click this link to join the Facebook group. Click here to, you know. And once they're in the group, they have access to our trainings. Because we realized one of the things I was taught was no structure. Yeah. People don't know where to get things. People don't know. Um, some people just good at recruiting because they just join the business. They say, go and recruit others. They bring the people in. They don't even know how to train those people. Because I kind of leave, I don't like groups. Because why I don't like groups in the sense that when one person in that group get spoken to by another business and they leave, they will come and take everybody from that group. <laughs> so it's like you give them access to all your strength. So I create new, new groups all the time. So I have a lot of small, small groups. So those small groups, I'm working with the new ones all the time. And once I help them, they know what they are doing. I'm working with the people they bring in all the time. They know that they resume them. So when I, once they are good or they, or they are not responding in this group anymore, I tell them, this is the new link, like in December, what did I do in December? I created a new group and I said, this is a goal getters group. If you want to follow me, if you want to get goals, you want to work, follow the link and join. I'm no longer posting in this group. And out of like 120 something people in that particular group, only 40 joined, the rest were left behind. So you don't want to be dragged, dragged and dragged, dragging people who do not even know there is a Zoom or there is a group. They don't want to work. They prefer to sell their time for money. They don't want to build their own future. So you can't force them if they don't, if they've not bought the vision. 
But when the time is right, I have team members that I'll still leave them on my broadcast, but on the group one, no. They follow me or you stay where you hide. You don't want to follow. It's a choice. I leave them. I may allow them to make that choice. And once they make the choice, I continue working with them. Yeah. That is awesome. Thank you very much. I think I've learned a lot today that I, that I would keep, you know, with myself. So guys, um, over to you again. If you have any question for Git, I think we have about five minutes to go. <laughs> Anybody who has any question, just um, raise your hand or uh, unmute yourself or I can, mute, uh, I can unmute you. If you have any question from anyone. So if we do not have any question from anyone, just some last words from you, Gift, and then we can close the Zoom. Well, I'm going to say, say to yourself what, you know, what you would love to hear. Be your best cheerleader. Look at the mirror every day and pour, declare what you want. I am PMD, please. I am somebody, I am a leader, I am an entrepreneur, I am what God says I am, I am wonderfully and fearfully made, I am favored, I am getting 10 new teammates this month, I am getting 10 new customers this month, this month I am SC, I am SP, whatever you want, declare it, keep saying it until you, you become it, you, be, you, you know, you get what you attract. So if you don't believe it, you don't see yourself. I remember I was asking somebody, if you get to eight thousand pounds bonus, what would you do with it? One person say, I will go on a cruise. I said, okay. Another person say, oh, I would, I would give to charity. I said, okay. Another person say, oh, I will buy a house. I said, okay. You know, one thing is, if you don't start making plans for it, start thinking. Once I began to earn twenty eight thousand pounds in bonus, what would I do with it? So that would be your why. Once you have a why, I have a why that I don't want to work for nobody. I don't want to go to work. I want child telling me, no, you are not working with this one. Go there and work. Come here, come here, come there and do this. No, I hate being bossed around. I don't like it at all. I don't know about people. Some people like it, but I don't like it. I love my space. I don't, I like to, that's why one of the reasons why I was doing work in night. So if you know yourself, have a why, have a dream board. Make a goal, write, make your vision plan. The book of Abacock say, write it down. Write it down. Write, do your vision board in your bedroom. If you're a Christian, you have a place, like maybe you're praying in your bedroom, put your vision board close to where you pray and lay your hands on it every day. Keep declaring it. And you know what? When you see people, don't be scared to talk to them. They won't bite you. The highest they will say is no. And no, doesn't hurt. And don't be scared on going Facebook Live. Let me tell you something. If you want to grow your business, embrace live videos. Embrace life like no man business. In the sense that it's like watching a TV. If you don't like it, you change the channel, isn't it? So also with your life, they don't like what you're saying. They can move out and go and watch something else. But when they see that this lady is consistent, one day somebody will listen. What is she always talking about? <laughs> and they will say, oh, I've been seeing you on Facebook, but today I actually listened. Imagine you go to a conference or go somewhere and somebody say, I know you from Facebook. I always follow you. I always listen to you. You've inspired me. Is it, that not a bonus? And the thing with Facebook Live is when you record a video and upload, people will see the video Look at the views, the views are less. But when you go on live direct, you get more people because Facebook give their notification. So, 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 and so person is like, when you be on top of their news field, then they can come and work. But if you don't do that, everybody do not know. If you upload a video, people don't get notification that you upload a video. So I will encourage you to go to live. If you go on live, you get to your destination quicker. If you don't go live, what, what it will take people who go live maybe one year to do, it will take the other person two years to do it. So you can either say, okay, I'd rather do it slow, I'll study in my own space and time, I'm not, I'm not rushing, I enjoy my job, I don't want to go six figure business just yet, I'm okay having 100 pounds a month, I don't want it, then fine, you don't need to go live. But be bigger than your excuses, be bigger than your fears, be bigger than your nose. That thing that is telling you no, 
If you go live, the heaven will open and swallow you. Say, get be behind me. Just look on the camera and say live. Sometimes I will come on live. I don't know what I want to say. Even if it's music, be playing. I literally, hello, hi, Jay. Who's watching? Where are you watching from? Hi, how are you? Hope you are staying safe. Practice that and you go off. Another day you come, oh my God, I'm just having these shakes. It's delicious. I'm using it to replace my meal. I'm on a weight loss journey. Oh my God, watch this space. Let's do it together. Ciao. Another day you come there, you see your confidence is growing. You're like, oh my God, this chest contains 17 fruits and veg. Can you imagine me having 17 fruits and veg inside a glass? Oh my God, and it's delicious. Make the shake something. People get attracted by what they see. Make that glass, get a beautiful glass. Don't carry one whole glass like this one I'm holding, yeah? Get a beautiful presentative glass, transparent one. Don't put your, your shakes in a bottle like this. Put your shakes in something that is transparent. You know, when people see it, there is, it looks delicious. It looks appetizing. Sometimes when you are pouring the shakes, make it like this, be dragging it like this. So people will be looking, it's like, they'll be following you too. Oh my God, I want that shakes. How much, can I have it? If I want to sell 10 shakes today, I know how to get them. They are do attractive, attractive marketing. Just carry that shakes and make yourself look like a goddess with that shakes and everybody will want it. Be licking your tongue. Hmm, it's delicious. <laughs> Don't just go, shake 17 foot and veg. <laughs> Come and buy, are you interested? Inbox me. Who is watching? Come on by. No, I will just scroll past you, even me myself. So thank you so much for listening to me. Become who you want to attract. Okay? Never give up on you. Be the best of you. Be the best of you. Be like an entrepreneur. Dress like an entrepreneur. Make your Facebook page look like a professional. When somebody come on your page, they don't want to leave. Because why? There is so much for them to look at. Not just before and after picture. Post you. Post something that will make somebody feel, oh my God, I wish I'm like her. These days I'm celebrating myself without makeup. This is me without foundation on. Who dash me to do that? Now, if I go live, I'm like, I can't believe it. I'm without foundation. Do you love my skin? How am I looking? Let me tell you what I'm using. Is this Omega blend? Come and get it. So that you two will look beautiful for your husband. And you know what women are like? They will come and get it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. I know yeah. a lot of people feel, oh, I don't want to do life. I mean, I remember when life started, you know, it was a struggle. I would think of what to say, what to, oh. but it gets better. You will start from, you know, practicing on what to say. And sometimes I don't know what to say. I'll just go live. And, you know, from there I would start, you know, and of course I've gotten some tips from you, you know, on how to make, you know, things more attractive, mm -hmm. you know, Post, you know, you know, more things that people would see and want to be like, oh, okay, really? And people are watching. Mm -hmm. I remember a few times I didn't post. I, I I got a message from somebody. I was like, oh, I sis, it's been a while. I haven't seen your Facebook. What's going on? I'm like, oh, okay. Actually, people notice that I'm not on Facebook. Yeah. Which was surprising. So if you're consistent with something, people will definitely know. Mm -hmm. And just give yourself um a go, give yourself that timeline. I'm going to achieve this by this. If it doesn't happen by then, just keep going. It doesn't mean that this business is not going to work for you. It just means that at that time, it hasn't happened. Mm. You have to keep working and keep working until you get it. This is a business that will take us you know, places. It's not just about now. It's about the future. It's about the future that you know we are building. So thank you for everyone who has joined. I mean, this has been really amazing. Not just like any other Zoom we've had. It's about, you know, getting, I, I mean, getting really the basics from, you know, from gift. And I wanted, you know, a lot of people to ask questions, like those budget questions you're having, ask them, ask them, ask now, let us trash it out. It's about training. It's about getting all the information that you need, you know, to mm -hmm. excel in this business. So if we don't have any other person, um, Teresa, I don't know if you have anything to say. If you don't have anything to say, then we can call it a night. Wow. Maybe just a vote of thanks. Thank you so much, Gift, for coming around. Thank you for the tips. I think I remember meeting you as QNMD, and it will be nice when we meet next in the events. I know. As PMD, maybe PMD plus next time, I guess. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Thank you for your, for your tips tonight. 
Thank God you. bless you. Bless you too. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me, everybody. Thank you very much yeah. and have a wonderful night. Thank you.